question to my brother over here. Please make it short so that we can uh, catch up with time. You have the floor. Honorable ministers, permanent secretaries, heads of different departments of government, business persons, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Rostam Azizi, a businessman from Tanzania. I've been listening to the presentations made by Invest Kenya and the lady that uh, uh, did the last presentation. Gentlemen, Tanzania and Kenya potentially can be much bigger than they are. Unfortunately, we're bogged down with petty politics, protectionism, inward-looking, trivial issues that impede economic development. You can see that the relationship between Kenya and Tanzania is skewed. It's skewed because it's very easy for Kenyans to come to Tanzania to invest. And we have many examples. There are 530 Kenyan companies in Tanzania invested over $1.7 billion. But there are only 30 Tanzanian companies in Kenya with hardly $50 million. So this relationship is that of trading tomatoes, oranges, and powdered milk. It's not a relationship that can build the two economies. These economies are giant, $180 billion in GDP, 120 million people, huge. We hardly have to work with other countries if we really realize the potential of the two countries. We from Tanzania have tried to come and invest in Kenya. I came in 2017. I'll give you a small story. I came here in 2017 and I met His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta at the State House. And he said to me, Rostam, come invest in Kenya. I said, of course, sir. Why would I invest in South Africa or England or somewhere when I can invest in Kenya? He says, please, what would you like to invest in? I said, well, I think there's an opportunity in gas in Tanzania, in Kenya. He said, please, do it. It has taken me three years, and I have still not got a response on my investment proposition. $130 million of an investment that I was ready to make. I met obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. Some really sad stories, but I don't want to go into them. But in short, if we don't underpin the relationship between Kenya and Tanzania with investments, the relationship is not sustainable. Tanzania cannot be forever an export of raw material and Kenya to enjoy the luxury of giving us their manufactured goods. We need equity in this relationship. We need a relationship that is beneficial to Kenya and Tanzania to Tanzanians and Kenya. So please, honorable ministers, permanent secretaries, we need to look at this very seriously. 
We can be talking here having teas and coffees, but then we end up in deeper and deeper misunderstanding as we go forward. This needs closer scrutiny, needs to be handled and tackled with seriousness if we want this relationship from, to go from strength to strength. Thank you very much. Th thank you very much. And as you take your seat, if I can wear my other hat, I can assure you the new page that was opened by our two leaders yesterday is indeed a new page. So from here I'll give you my card and I'll be able to not have tea and coffee with you but to engage you immediately after this session because we are going to have a B2B. Uh, therefore, uh, delegates, let me request uh, Dr. Ikiala to take just a minute. And thank you, Dr. Ikiala, for giving the investor your card. I hope you've given 